Good morning, everyone. Um, so, remember how I said I had uh, one more time rift? I went looking, and apparently the mail room, which I was certain was the last one, um, well, isn't. Welcome to Time's End, Act 1, the finale. Uh, it got repurposed when the mod update came in, which is when I started the game. So all the information I had from prior uh, was not involving the mod update, which repurposed the mailroom as the mod hub. So when I couldn't find the time rift, I was really confused. Knew I had taken a look. Oh, let's see. We are 150. We are 160. I've been in hot kitchens before. Maybe you can skip the queue. Yep. So. We've been told to skip the queue and just kind of walk right to the end. So, hello. He hello? Okay, can I speak to you? To judge me. <laughs> I like this guy, he's fun. Yep. And then you'll see all these guys do have little bits and pieces there. I really like the ghost, so I always want to hear what he's saying. Uh, but otherwise, we are just going to be heading straight here and open the door. Yeah, no one's stopping us. There's no guards or anything. Uh, mustache Girl has a nice few statues of herself. Let's head in. If you would run into any lava damage, but until then, I think some of you can get damaged. Uh, yeah, you know what? I want to keep no bonk. I'll just put time stop on for now and use it to just kind of ignore these guys. So, um, this is the last area. It's very lava filled and it has little aspects of everything we've done up to this point. But, uh, admittedly, not too uh, complex. For the other stuff. And you can see various guys just kind of messing around. Um, even though I think it burns, it's not really a messing around discussion. Still. Uh, he wants the back of the line ticket to delay his fate as long as possible. Uh, I guess a good strategy. So, we're going to have to pick up this thing. As per Subcon Forest. Oh, uh, but keep in mind, you can't jump nearly as far when you're holding these things. So, you gotta time your jumps much better and use the explosion to get a rift toe. Never mind, you don't have to worry about that. Uh, not entirely sure why I did. Oh, no. No, 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 no. We're already uh, almost dead. That is not a good situation. But let's see, are we going to get some healing here? N no. Alright. I mean, I was hopeful, but seems like it was wrong for me to be hopeful there. So, uh, there is a place under that, but just by using your hat, you're safe. We criminals can feel relief. Not we criminals can feel relieved we have not committed any crimes. We're going to slow down time a bit, make it a little easier for us to get past. At least that is my strategy. Um, you have the time hat, might as well use it. It has been nerfed for what it could do in the final boss because, I mean, being able to just straight slow down any boss kind of makes them a joke. Uh, or at least more so than other ones. Uh, looks like there's, oh, it's a springboard to get back up should you fall. Let's jump these fires. Uh, preferably not into more fire, yeah. Like, I can see where this is going, and I do not... 
I'm hurt. I cannot jump. Fall right into the other fire. And it puts us all the way back to the beginning of the... Oh, wait. No. Is this the spring? No. Yeah, it's the beginning. All right. It's hard to tell with this one because a lot of this area does look the same. So, this time the lower one went first. I still think the time stop hat is the best hat in this game. If only for the fact that it can give you a lot of extra time on any of the puzzles that are originally uh, very restricted. I, I want to try to go back and try to use it during the uh, conductor's uh, explosive train mission, because that seems like an interesting time to use it, and I'm kind of wondering what's going to happen. Wow, it is very unforgiving on some of these. You fall at the wrong point, uh, you are dead. Um, but, I mean, it's the last one. I don't think I should cut out any of the real fail, even though uh, there's going to be a lot of it, as shown already. Um, but, I mean, it gives decent healing objects around, so... I am also happy I have not committed. Sorry, every time I'm gonna pass them, I should try to make another comment. Because, I mean, I am stuck at what would be the hardest platforming part, and I am I am not very good at platforming stuff. As you guys likely have seen, um, Twilight Bell was evil to me. Um, so, I don't feel too bad admitting that I'm not good at platformers. You kind of got to see that firsthand. So you have to. Oh, that would have been really evil of them. So I've restarted the game since then, so I figured it was just an issue. So I can't actually see those guys um, while they're moving around normally. Which, I mean, is, I guess, the regular way for it. So, we just gotta make sure to get them pretty close to us and bonk them a bit. We're low on health, so let's retreat back a bit. Because, well, there was some healing. Just gotta be careful. Okay, take out the two of them, and the pass forward opens. Plus, there's some healing here as well. Um, so, it's not like this area has nothing that can heal you. I'm gonna actually bring up the time stop hat. Just to give me a better chance of making it through that. Thank you. Very, very helpful. Um, Subcon spirit guy. I mean, you're calling me kid, so I don't feel too bad I don't know your name. I don't like. Oh, good. It, it was smart enough to go, like, alright, you're probably gonna mess that up first time. Come on, you could be a stunt owl. I believe in you. I'm apparently a stunt owl. I really wasn't expecting to make it first try that jump. Um, the, the rest of this, I will be amazed if I do not get lit on fire. Uh, but it is looking like we have neared the end. Mmm. Chicken's a good thing, I guess. Just gonna time stop our way past a full heal, should you need it. Um, apparently, I died enough that I don't. Uh, we died recently enough. And look at all these timepieces. She has clearly collected many more than us. Ooh, 
All right. What a touching story. Just kidding. Bad guy next. So, judge, jury, and executioner. That would be us. We are next. Oh, it's you. You've been kinda a selfish little pest, but uh, you haven't actually stood in my way. You get to go on. You're a good guy, uh, I guess. Weird. Go on. You get to live now. Ah, uh, no, no, thank you. Excuse me. Don't you dare get anywhere near me. I don't think you quite understand who's in charge, little Missy. And it looks you like know, it's time for the final confrontation. I to forgive you. I once thought we were going to be best buds. Then you stole all my stuff. So I don't know if we're really going to be friends. No, nope. you turned out to be rotten and selfish. Save the planet from bad guys. Psh, who needs that? Am I right? I mean, yeah, saving the planet by um, destroying it and killing everyone. That's that's the right Look, way to go. That's all I've done without you. I've restored justice. I am the justice. No more bad guys. Ever. I don't need you. This planet doesn't need you. Nobody will miss you, and nobody will care. Oh, well, that's a bit rude. But it looks like you it is boss time. Are the bad guy. So she can just straight up teleport, it looks like. Uh, definitely Time Stop Hat gives us dodging abilities, at least. Um, she's got a similar move like, um, what's his name? Uh, the, the spirit guy, I can't even remember his name. We use that to, if we use the Time Hat, we can get past him. Like her out of her range real quick. So yeah, if you hit her while time stop, look how long it takes for this thing to recharge. So you use the time stop to get yourself dodging, basically. Because um, she goes really quick, but she does have a bit of a. Um, Stunt, like stop frames like right here I'm gonna take advantage get another hit in uh, and hope to get some healing soon oh. all right we hit her enough I think we're moved on to phase two and we're very happy about it Oh, she can get lost. Uh, hello, Mustache Mafia. Girl is not welcome here. Mafia, Mafia say, say get, get lost. lost. That's right, get lost. So these guys have actually there made it through that gauntlet we just did, which is and really impressive. Because we saw the conductor before we came in. <laughs> yeah. This alternate reality stinks. Get lost. Ain't that right, gang? Get lost. Yeah, get lost. Get lost. Oh. Oh, wow. Uh, one of those was uncalled, but you suck. But everyone seems to be uh, agreeing. Get lost. We definitely have the numbers on our side, unlike the entire time we've been playing up till this point. So. Doing it for all of us. That's why you're judging all of them. Uh, and everyone's kind of agreeing with us that you've made a mistake. How can you stand behind these people? This. I mean, you have been openly trying to kill everyone, so I don't know who's the crook and criminal here. Uh, I'm a little worried. I thought I'd have a ground to walk on here. I'm a little scared that there just isn't one. Ah, there it is. All right. So we definitely want to be careful. Try to hit her right when time stop ends. And oh, throwing those ones caused big cracks in the ground. That's scary. Sc 
scary. But yeah, if we're time stopped while we hit her, once again, it is going to increase the cooldown. So be careful, and it's just a matter of uh, time stop to dodge and try to stay out of her attacks. Where is she landing? Right here? But yeah, I'm definitely... You, sh you shouldn't be wait like prioritizing using the time stop hat. Oh. Wow, I just keep running into it. All right. Oh, she's slightly moving. That might be part of why. She is moving really quick, too. Oh. That's true, she has been teleporting away before we get anywhere near her with the time stop hat. There we go. We've got a Mafia Ball. And you can get hit, unfortunately. Uh, you can time stop and hit it. Um, but let's get started this second phase again. So we'll wait for her to go into her infinite shot mode, which I think is coming up real soon. Not sure how you successfully did that, but all right. I guess I have to accept it. Ah, she's in her infinite shot mode now, uh, which even if we slow time, yeah, she moves before we can get to her. So let her go through a few rounds of that just by walking close to her and we get back the Mafia Ball which does work kind of against us I'm gonna time stop just to slow her down and Mafia Ball! I hate how it's like pulling the camera to look at her. But we, we are aware of where she is. Okay, the ball landed on us that time. Oh, and now she has a barrier? To block us from even attacking. Once and for all. So, they sign a contract, and what happens now? So, he's gonna create items, and, well, we can kind of use them to attack, uh, hack, uh, sorry, Mustache Girl. But, only gonna make them so quick. I think the big issue right now is we aren't doing enough damage fast enough. I don't know if we're going to be back before the Mafia phase or what. It looks like we're back before the Mafia phase. So it's a suitably difficult uh, final boss fight, at least in my opinion. Uh, it, is, it does have some somewhat easy patterns in some comparison, but I mean, she's beating us up, so doing something right. It might just be she has like 30 health right, versus our 4, but I mean, who's counting? Oh, there it is. She's in her you can't hit me phase. So 
So we'll just run around the side until the game wants to give us a chance. Get good in. So I think just as long as we hit this ball, we're good. The conductor will drive it the correct way, where regardless of where we hit it. Um, you know, we have a similar move, um, though I think we don't have it equipped. Yeah, we want to get this one. Do you see? There is a time. Yeah, see, no matter which way we seem to hit it, it seems to work. Ding, and then these two will team up as well. But we've already seen that, so get the contract, and here we go. He's going to create explosives and. We just have to L hit her with them, which is uh, easier said than done. Yeah, I, I should not have this blaster on. Let's put back on that. Shit, shift. Say my shift didn't seem to work. Okay, you, you. Look at that, we got a hit on her, I think. She lands in front of us and wipes us out. Uh, there's going to be lots of cuts in this part now. Uh, even though I did say it's the finale, maybe we shouldn't have too many cuts. Um, I don't think you guys want to watch this boss fight 10, 15 times. But I do want to get it done. So. But yeah, definitely that ball is. I'm sorry, that beam is helpful for the ball phase, but that's about it. And this, this fight is just too long normally. But yeah, the conductor just stands there. He doesn't really do anything. But I, I guess, like I said, he's trying to steer it. We just need to avoid that. Alright, so the goal is just hit this thing. Alright, they've exploded, which means she's invincible again. Which these two will be nice and give us a hand for. All right, we're back to the more most recent one we've gotten to. I'm just really bad with these uh, fleshy tomatoes.
Alright, I got three hits on that one, but even still, I'm worried about these explosive parts. Alright, she's knocked out of it. Oh, enough. What ha- oh no. Um, not what I was expecting. She kind of killed a bunch of our allies there. When Mafia explode, Mafia drop bombs. This gives Mafia an idea. Alright, so Mafia has come up with an idea Mafia after we've wiped out Hatgirl enough. Mafia explode, little Hatgirl get useful pawns. Mafia has to explode to save world. Isn't that the best way to save the world? Exploding. What? Plan is criminal, Mafia. No. Way. If little girl if succeed. Little girl succeed. Mafia come back when time rewinds. Now, punch me with all your might. Fair enough. Mafia. Either no we're dead action. anyways. And if I she wins, we are alive. Get lost. Girl here, take me. And there we have a full heal. <laughs> Those mafia lads, so foolishly brave. But hey, eh, what's the point of living if I ain't got me train anyway? All right, DJ Grooves, the two of us are gonna help this little hot lass. Get ready for a mean punch. And you I'm aim sorry. For my face. That's my weak spot. Aim for my face. That's my weak this spot. Angry red last needs to get lost. They take each other out, giving us more health. We basically have unlimited health here. Um, at this point of the fight. Uh, I wish some of these guys would have waited till I needed the health. Um. What is this? If everyone disappears but me, then I'd be all alone. Yes. No. You're the bad guy! Get lost! He doesn't resurrect this guy, he is still in the jar uh, with his eyes. Get lost! Oh, the crows actually said something like that. How is it disappearing? Yeah, there's not much things you can do with So you just have unlimited healing now. Uh, I don't even think I need to worry about dodging. Our health is not going down as we are healing that quickly. Um it is just a, a matter of time before Mustache Girl loses. Uh, but let's speed this process along with the time half dead. Like, this looks pretty hard to dodge normally. But apparently not super hard, because yeah, we, we're, we have a Starman, basically. There's nothing she, really she can do to even harm us anymore. We're, we're much like her earlier the match. We... Though I don't like how quickly she's teleporting around. That's starting to bug me. And then the camera's driving me all over the place. I wonder if there is a limit? There it is. She is knocked out. Let's say a limit to how many times she can teleport. Uh, but it's time for the credits. Here is the rest of the time pieces. So this should count as 40. If it doesn't, I'm going to be very confused uh, because it even says there was a time piece here. It counts as up to 40. We're done. We have gotten 100% in this. Let's sit back and enjoy some credits. Thank you guys all for coming on out for this, well, long, long journey. Uh, it took a little longer than I was expecting, but 
we're done. We've gotten all 40 of our time rifts. Time has gone back. They are all in a nice state over there. It looks like everywhere has uh, reformed. It is no longer lava. But there's Mustache Girl. Bang. Uh, this is the beginning before we've even run into her, I guess, technically. Drop a timepiece down and let the red headed hooded girl some time piece power to defeat the mafia. No, she messed it up last time. I I know that's rude of me to to not want to uh, help her. I don't care. She stole our stuff, she failed her quest in the first place, and we're busy playing with buttons. We have way more than the forty we had originally, it looks like. I um it looks like it's working just fine. It says we've got all 40, which means we should be able to return home. And let's begin our trek back. Everyone knows it's the big red button. So we charge up our engine and don't go anywhere. I think that, that badge is the perfect one for this. Just ah, holding the um, measure scale things. But it's because we're a bit overloaded, I think, is what the uh, end result is. So, let's take a look out the window. I like how we keep our timepiece sitting right there. And we have the Mafia. Don't leave us. Let's make Honestly, your contracts are pretty fun. Maybe we will in the future, but not today. Don't you dare leave, lass! Let's watch our movie, darling! But we've got our giant broom, and goodbye, Mafia. Goodbye, everyone. Bye. Yep, bye. <laughs> We're a bit sad, but it's time to go. That huge grin at the end, though doesn't really fit as sad. We're on our way home. And? It's time for the credits. Shows 12 relics, 61 pawns at the end. Didn't beat the poor game, but we're just gonna run through the credits with 40 time pieces, and here it is. My gears for breakfast. I really like this game. Um, I wish I had sat through and played it all in one uh, setting, and I wish I had a better controller for it, because uh, switching control schemes about halfway through really did mess with me a lot. But it was a fun game. I'm really glad I went and picked this up. I mean, maybe I'll play around with some mods in the future. Uh, I wish I could have ran this on better graphics, because I'm looking at these credits right now, and I'm seeing just how bad the graphics I was using were. But we finished Mafia Town, we're over to Battle of the Birds now. There's one guy sitting behind Dead Bird Studio's desk. And let's continue on. We see the crows, the exploding train, our ant, I think? And everything else that really we've done in this area. It was a fun game, and it makes me want to play more platformers. But halfway through I started playing Odyssey, I'm much closer to the end now. I'm about, uh, I think it's about 600 uh, moons in. So I do still have a little left, um, some of the more troubling ones. But it just, it doesn't have the same charm as this game. I'm enjoying it, but it's a different feel. I, I really like this one. and. I'm glad I played it and I'm glad I put it on YouTube for you guys. Um, as for what's coming next, um, if Pokemon is not done, which I'm not actually sure if it's going to be, uh, I know I'm really close to the end recording wise, however upload wise, I think I still have a, a few to go. Um, so. I'm not sure, we'll, we'll finish up Pokemon and then jump to our next thing. Recording wise, I only have the Elite Four left. So I'm excited to, to wrap that up. 
Uh, I wound up getting some new games recently. Um, Hyrule Warriors, which came out today, uh, the day I'm recording this. Um, so that's going to be one I'm going to be enjoying. It's not really one for uh, Let's Play, though, so I will have to look into some other games that I can play for that. But that's stuff for the future. For now, I hope you all enjoyed A Hat in Time. And, well, I hope if you liked it, you'll want to play it for yourself and enjoy the game that way. But there was a lot of uh, patrons for this. Uh, I didn't actually know about this until after the game was already released. I saw one person playing the beta, which I loved the, the Mafia Town world that I saw. Because I think that was one of the things that unleashed for uh, the beta. And then there was also the uh, train level. Uh, those were the two things I've seen about this before I played it. Um, and I definitely liked it. So there we are. We're in bed. We have a lot of... We've got the uh, owls. We've got the crows. We've got Mafia Town. And we've got um, the spirits from Subcon Forest, I think. I don't actually know, but this is the end. Thank you guys all for joining me, and have a good one.